Welcome to Option Trades today. I'm Tony the Bat Batista, and it is June 8th, 2023, and we've got very low implied volatility in the overall market. And when you're selling premium, that's usually a bell or a whistle saying, hey, cut back your size. We usually have bigger, eventually have bigger moves in the market when volatility is low than when volatility is high. But I still got to stick to the program. So I'm looking for something to trade today. I'm going to look at liquidity. That's always king, but there's no more time when volatility is low. Liquidity becomes king. You don't want to get stuck in something you can't get out. You also might want to think about defining your risk. So I'm going to take a look at a trade that does that, and we'll go over conditional value of risk, which is a new feature on the Tasty Trade platform that we have. So let's do that right now. Let's take a look at the market. Even the S&Ps are up 14 handles. Um, they've been unchanged for most of the day. They've rallied uh, the last hour or so, but as you can see, we've been going absolutely sideways. Volatility in by another 27 cents. It's an anemic at 15.15. So you're going to take a look when I take a look at all the watch lists. You're going to see these last five day changes all going lower. And even if I switch to IV rank from high to low, you'll notice that there's only stocks that have earnings like DocuSign and even DocuSign's volatility is contracting over the last couple of days. Um, or stocks that are just too small uh, to trade, meaning uh, I don't want to get involved in an AI. I don't want to trade uh, telephone. But I do have something that I do want to trade and I have traded and it's been working out uh, okay for me, which is Meta. Always in the news, Ivy rank is low. Let's just call it zero. I believe it was one when I placed on this trade uh, just a moment ago. Uh, I'll show you what I'm looking to do here, and I'll tell you why I'm doing this trade. Um, let's take a look at, at Meta, which has a 32% monthly implied volatility. And let's just compare it, since we're looking at a NASDAQ stock, let's just compare it to the Qs, which has a 19% monthly implied volatility. So Q's with a 19% monthly implied volatility and Meta with a 32% um, implied volatility, you're looking at almost a 50% more volatility in Meta than you would in the benchmark the Q's themselves. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. It's not a very good one, but it all comes down to the strategy you pick. Typically when I'm looking at a product like this and I'm thinking about maybe selling some premium, and by the way, if Meta continues to go higher, volatility will probably expand in here. But I would look to go to something like the 20-ish delta option. I'm going to go to exactly the 20 delta option on the downside. I'm about uh, $20 away on the put for that 20 delta. And if I come up to the calls, approximately 20, I guess I can go to 295s or 290. For the ease of math, I will go to 290. And you're also... $25 higher there for the 20-ish delta. So there's really no call or put skew in Meta. Now, this would be a typical um, uh, um, uh, product that I would do. You'd be using a round, well, I must have be in an IRA account here, so I'm using showing you the, the $24,000 um, that you would use in an IRA account. In a margin account, it would be closer to $4,000. Yes, you can make this trade, being naked options, even naked call options in an IRA account at Tasty Trade. I don't think you could do it at any other brokerage firm, but you can do it at Tasty Trade. So check that out if that's something that you want to do in your IRA account. But a way that you can get this um, buying power even lower than you would um, in an uh, in an IRA account would be in a margin account. Now your brokerage, uh, your, your margin account is going to use around four thousand dollars. And look at your conditional value at risk. It's wrapped around that four thousand dollars number. Now, how did I get this number there? All you have to do is click on this little wheel here. And when you click on that wheel, you look at display, and you could put this new feature that we have CV. Uh, R, which is conditional value at risk, it's showing you on a 5% uh, of the time, what's your, what's your move? Now, the brokerage firm is holding $24,000 in a um, 
uh, IRA account, but your real risk is wrapped around what the margin would be, around $4,000. That's your conditional value of risk 95% of the time. So I'm going to use less conditional value of risk by going $30 wide, going up to the 320 calls, making it a wide iron condor or synthetic strangle. I'm going to buy the 215s. And I was able to fill this trade uh, at 555. I am working a 559 offer also. I am not filled yet. Like I said, if Meta continues to go higher, I expect to be filled uh, higher. You can see that sometimes the mid price goes up to 560, but you'll notice that the natural bid is 542, the natural offer is 565. Mid price is not a guaranteed price. It's really taking uh, selling this on the bid, buying this on the bid. Uh, maybe uh, selling this on the bid and buying this on the bid. It, that's what mid price is. It's the mid price of all of these options. Now, when all of the options are one penny wide or a nickel wide, all four legs, you get a very good mid price. You'll notice here that just a moment ago, you'll see that those puts were 10 cents wide while this call is 5 cents wide. So mid price is still the mid price, but it's not, not quite as accurate. I was filled at 555. My conditional value at risk, even though I'm $30 wide, is $2,400. Even though the brokerage firm um, would show that the risk was closer to $4,000 on the naked options, here we're using less. Now, the conditional value of risk is going to be the same as the buying power because it has a defined risk trade. But the interesting thing for conditional value at risk and why you might want to add it to the bottom of your um, uh, ticket here would be when I move one of these calls or puts closer uh, to the money, meaning like if the stock were to go lower and I want to uh, roll down the untested side, I'll be buying the 290 call and maybe selling the 280 call. Conditional value at risk will show me how much my risk, my additional risk is for the credit I'm receiving. Uh, conditional value at risk is really compelling or good or something to know when you're rolling one way or the other. It'll also show it to you if you have naked options. So conditional value risk, a nice feature. I don't know of any other platform that has it, um, but you should check it out. You can always Google search what conditional value risk is also, or you can go on the Tasty Trade uh, platform and go to their help center and find it out there also. Let's look at this trade real quickly before I let you go. Um, it has a 66% pop. I like to have over a 65% pop when I'm um, uh, making a trade. My EXT or extrinsic number obviously is going to be the number that I got filled at. I got filled at 555 and I'm working a uh, 559 offer. So my EXT will be 559. It has about two and a half or two and three quarter short deltas, short deltas. B delta is the beta weighted delta. Beta weighted to what? Beta weighted to ES, well, really SPY, it's the exact same thing. So this has maybe two, just under two, short deltas in SPY. So if you had a bullish portfolio and you were looking for something that has um, a good correlation to the overall market, uh, which is a 0.65 in, in meta, uh, three almost five-eighths of the time it moves with the overall market, um, this might be something that you take a look at. Or if you're really just neutral on Meta itself. As you can see, Meta's been going uh, straight up. It had this big move uh, from, from April uh, for earnings here. We always think that, the, that stocks typically go sideways for a period of time after they make a big move. But this move was done uh, over a month or so ago, so maybe it's not going to come into a factor here today. I'm just playing the numbers here, 66% pop. I collect around $11 in theta decay a, a day. My Vega is short 35. I don't really think that's compelling for most people. Obviously, my max profit and my max loss, um, since it's a defined risk trade, is there. How would I manage this trade? When this delta gets to about 15 I'll roll up the untested side's naked option. So if the stock was going higher, I'll probably move just this 245 put 
up to 255. If my uh, delta became positive 15, I will probably move just this 290 call down to the 280 call to collect additional credit. And I will see what my CVR, my conditional value of risk is for doing that. All right, everybody, listen. Oh, one more thing. Don't leave yet. Stay there. Um, if you want to see everything on the follow page, uh, all this trade and any other adjustment that I do or Tom does or anybody else from the team, I'm just going to click on Bob the Trader a uh, IRA. Unfortunately, I can have my picture there, but I can no longer have my name. There's the meta trade that I did today earlier at 1015 uh, prior to making this video. Uh, it's a wide iron condor synthetic strangle. I am using less buying power than you would use in a margin account if you were just going to be naked options, just naked the 290, 245. You can also see any uh, trades that I've closed or adjusted. Here's our NVIDIA trade from this option podcast just, uh, well, now two days ago uh, from Tuesday. Um, I said that worked out very quickly for my podcast, made a dollar, uh, filled this at $5.84. You can see any adjustments that I make in Amazon. Here I'm getting twisted in the wind. I wrote, oh my God, I stink getting twisted around in Amazon, rolling down the untested side. And I think Amazon is going to twist me around a little bit more today because I believe Amazon was up around $4 just a moment ago. Uh, it's up $3.33. But you know what? That's a story for another day. I appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe uh, to my channel here on the podcast if you're just listening to this through our uh, Tasty Live website. Check me out on uh, YouTube. Subscribe to the Tasty Trade channel. Subscribe to Option Trades today. See everything that we do here. And you know what else? You know what I always ask you for. Please move, bring, transfer, open an account at Tasty Trade uh, and help us keep the lights on here.